hip hop. That's hip hop. One thing I would ask is, if you're involved in something, understand its nature, understand its core, understand that the values that and the backbone that it was built on. Hip hop was built on social injustice. Hip hop was a message. That's how it started. It was a rebellion against the system because they wouldn't play our theme. So we made, we didn't have instruments. Okay, you don't want to give our school instruments in our neighborhood, in our poor black com communities, our poor black and brown communities, our Latino communities. Our, okay, then we're going to take your records and we're going to make sounds. We're going to take the sounds of the instruments and put them together. Okay, you don't want to give us canvases to, to paint on? Then we're going to paint on your big buildings that you're building in our neighborhoods, on your trains that pass all through our communities. Okay, you don't want to you don't want to uh, make um, Dior and Gucci and Louis Vuitton fashionable. We're going to make these jean jackets and these 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 cheap uh, hats. We're going to make them valuable that you will have to raise the price on them because we rock them. You know what I mean? So we always have been creating everything from from our culture, which is hip hop. We have been telling um, we have been fighting against the status quo for since I was our beginning, you know what I mean? So we have been doing it. It's been social injustice. It's, it's, when you show us injustice to our social way of living, we rebel. So hip hop has always been that. Now, I just ask that the power and the platform that hip hop has gained, the, the artist that is created, look at Drake. Drake, this, he's all in the talks about he can shut down the industry if he doesn't sign this deal, if he doesn't re-sign his deal, because what would that look like for artists of his caliber to now be making those hundreds of millions of dollars directly with the fans? He's about to shut down. That's power. So all I ask, that's power and influence. And influence has power. All I ask is that anybody out there with, with influence should inspire. I didn't always think that way, though. I used to have the Charles Barkley mentality. You know, oh man, I, I do what I do to do what I do. You know, you don't follow me, I ain't no role model. Nah, that, that's true. You, you might consider yourself not a role model, but that, that little boy who's, who feels like he's a little overweight and, and he plays on the basketball court and he's not as skinny or as fast as those others look up to you and say, you know what I mean? So you might be one way, and not want the recognition for it, but you have people who, who you inspire and you don't even know. Run DMC didn't tell me to take the shoelaces out of my, uh, they just told me they did it. They didn't tell me to rock a Godfather hat. I still rock one to this day. They didn't tell me to put on a leather blazer. They just did it and they look cool doing it. So when you do something and you look cool to the youth, the youth are impressionable. Their mind is, uh, is out of the Mike Tyson book, shout out to Mike, impregnable. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just joking, but you know, their mind, their, their thoughts are easily impregnated. They're impressionable. You know, they, they take on that things, those things that look cool. And that's our culture, right? Hip hop, right? Hip is being in the now, being in the knowing. Hop, that's a form of movement. Right. So if you look at it that way, that is the now movement. That's why it always forever remains to seem young, to seem youthful, because it's the now movement. So to all of the youth out there, understand your power, you know, understand that that anything that you say, you can galvanize. That's really what it is. You can galvanize the people. I remember Lords of the Underground on a TLC tour, Jacob Javis Center. Ice T performing, TLC, Laws of the Underground. I think it might have been Buster as well. Ice T, I walk up to Ice T, yo, we just did Psycho, how we do, T? He was like, I did good. He was like, but you gotta, you gotta capture him. He was like, y'all had him mesmerized and you ain't know what to do with him when you had him mesmerized. I was like, what you mean? We killed it out there. He said, you did good, but you had him mesmerized. Tell him to do something. Give him a call to action. I was like, wow. He's like, even if you even if you'd have told him, pick up the chairs and throw them, they would have did it. He said, realize your power when you up there. Blew my mind. This is the, this is the early do it all laws of the underground. Blew my mind. 
You know what I mean? Because that means like when we captivate, that means our words are really powerful. It's really magic. If you believe in magic, right? There's spells, there's spelling words that we put together in a rhythmic flow into the synthesis. So I'm casting a spell on you to do what I tell you to do. You know, that's some MC shit, you know? So when, I, when I'm telling you to do that, understand the power. Now tell them to do something that's going to benefit your culture. Don't tell them to do something that's going to take away from your culture. Tell them something that's going to add on to your culture because you have the power. I'm not saying don't have fun. Have fun. Tell them how to have fun. Tell them how to enjoy it. But tell them something that's that's addition and not subtraction. Stop killing the culture. If you kill a great, you kill your culture. Rest in peace to the homie Duck in Chicago. You know, OTF and them be beefing with them for, for years. It's been so many murders. If you believe, if one side believes that Duck is a great Chicagoan, how it, Chicago GN, however you say it, Chicagoan, whatever it is, and that's no disrespect or joke, but if he's one side is saying he's great and the other side is saying he's not, all the people that are saying that he's great, they just lost one of their great ones. So how can we how can we take how can we add on and not take away to the culture? Because whether you like him or not, for a lot of people, that's a takeaway. That's a subtraction. Let's learn how to add on to the culture and not take away, man. So by giving those social injustices, like by talking about it every now and then, that adds on to the culture. Talk about the real stuff. Talk about some stuff, food for thought. I'm not telling you to, to be corny. I'm not telling you not to speak your truths. Speak your truths, but in a way that's an, it's addition and not subtraction.